Now that we've made a sound, I'm going to start using that sound to make a block or a, what's it called? Measure. All right, start. Here is where we start making music. So similar to the last section, uh, we've got a bunch of columns. Uh, and they're all labeled, once again, uh, at the bottom. So uh, the left column is the steps. So you start at step zero. And as you, as you play this, uh, this tune, I'll call this a tune. That sounds nice. Um, it'll just start at step zero, and then it'll play step one, step two, step three. It'll just play through the whole thing. And as you can see, if I go down far enough, boop, there's the last step in this block because the next one is back to step zero. It loops. All right. And then the column I'm currently highlighting, you can see at the bottom, it says channel one. Next is channel two. Next is wave channel three. It's a slightly different type of sound and has some different features. And then wave channel, I'm sorry, channel four, which is a percussion or noise channel. All right. So we were, I just made uh, an instrument for, for uh, sound, for uh, channel one, channel one, channel two. And oh, and then, oh, I'm sorry, this final column here is the command channel. We can type in some special commands. We'll see that later. All right, so let's look at the very bottom of the screen. I'm currently looking at block zero. And so similar to uh, what we already learned in the, sound editor screen, uh, you know, we can make up to 16 sounds for each channel in Kirillin editor, in this editor. And you cycle through them by holding the B button and pressing up and down. Well, it's the same thing here for the block editor. I can hold the B button and it tells me if I press up and down, then I can change the block. So I'm going to press up and down. I can scroll through the different blocks. I just, and they're all empty because I haven't done anything yet. I'm going to go back down to zero where I can start. And, uh, all right, as you can see, oh, yep, yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, and once again, uh, pressing both A and B button at the same time will delete what I'm looking at. Delete the entry here. All right, so let's actually type in a sound. So to edit stuff, generally it's, um, it's almost always the A button. So I'm gonna hold the A button and it says, press the direction key to edit the sound. All right. I'm going to press the right arrow, a C0, and when I let go, it'll play the sound for me. There it is. I added my first note. All right, it's really, it's too low. And uh, so I'm going to hold the button, and I can press left and right to scroll through the keyboard. And I also have the option of pressing up and down to cycle through octaves. So a C3 is going to be two octaves higher than a C0. Cool. <laughs> and it goes up to C5. <laughs> All right. Now let's play some, uh, let's enter some notes. So there's a C. Uh, now if I press uh, hold A to enter the next note, it will be, uh, what is it going to be? Yeah, I can press left and right to enter the same note again. <laughs> I'm going to delete these by pressing A and B at the same time. All right, now I'm going to press the start button to play what I entered. And it'll just loop if I let it go. Doom, 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 doom. All right, and if I enter these, let's just see what this sounds like. Let's goof around. Let's see, a D. We'll do the same one again. All right, let's see what that sounds like. 
Now, I don't know if you noticed, but this is way faster than I hoped it would be. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here to the command column. And the command I use the most so far um, uh, is, uh, this gives me, uh, there's a command to change the tempo. So I'm going to hold the A button. I'm going to make a change. So I'm going to hold the A button. And it says if I press left and right, I can edit. Uh, let's see. I've got oh, tons of options. Oh, look at this. Oh, it actually, yeah, you can see at the bottom here. So I can modulate the channel. Okay. Slide the channel. Set vibrato width. Set vibrato rate. Initial slide up. Initial slide down. Here we go. Set tempo. And the tempo ranges between 2 and F. All right. And I think 8 is what, uh, 7 or 8, I think, is the default. If I'm going to press start again, that pretty much sounds the same. So let's slow it down by raising the tempo. Let's try D. It's cool. And if we make it F, the slowest tempo. <laughs> Let's stick with D for now. These notes in the middle are ridiculous. Let's get rid of these uh, extra ones here. How's this sound? Very good. Now I actually want to enter a song here. Let's see if I can do it. Oops. I can't remember how. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Perfect. All right. And if I, uh, what was that option? If I press down? While pressing start to play the sound, I can uh, watch it play. Watch it uh, scroll while it plays. All right. And. All right. Channel two is. Uh, oh, and let's. Uh, yep. Channel two is the same. Uses the same instruments, the same sounds as channel one. So let's answer some sounds here. Let's see here. Let's do C. And then a G. <laughs> nah, I don't like that. Let's leave this for now. We'll mess with that later. Um, all right, so I'm done working on this sound for now, this block using these sounds. Uh, oh, and just for fun, uh, on the bottom bottom right corner, you can see I'm on sound zero. So the sound, or AKA the instruments, is what uh, what I made in the uh, the last mode. You know, I made instruments, and I'm playing instrument zero. I can see, I can see here I'm playing an E3, uh, an E uh, octave three, you know, Number three, uh, lower numbers will be lower, higher numbers will be higher on the keyboard. And then zero is the instrument being played. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna change my sound uh, on the bottom. I'm gonna hold the B button. And it says if I press left and right, I can change the sound. All right, and I can cycle through my different sounds. If I do one, then uh, it's gonna use sound one. The next time I make a note, or if I press A, I can press select a couple times, select select to change the sound without changing the note. And it's going to sound a little different because it's a different instrument. Then it goes back to the one I had before. I'll press start to stop it. All right. And uh, there's no undo feature in this, so I'm going to go back and set it back. What happens if I change it to uh, sound two? <laughs> yeah, it's a pop quiz. If I change it to sound two, Nothing, because <laughs> I never made sound too. It's empty. <laughs> All right, let's put it back to what we wanted it. All 
All right. Sounds good. Let's go back to the main menu by pressing select. Boop. All right, I'm going to scroll back to the top by pressing left to jump up there. Now let's go back to the sound editor. And I actually want to make a new sound. So this is my sound zero. I'm going to scroll to a new empty sound for channel one, two. I'm going to hold the B button and press up to select change through sounds. All right, here we go, an empty one. And I just want a simple do sound. <laughs> All right, so let's hold A boop, and press up to make the sound. So the volume is set to zero and I want a quieter sound. So I'm going to leave this at, let's try six. And I want it to be kind of long. Let's try six. And maybe eight. That sounds good. All right, and uh, as for the t the harshness, uh, this is a little harsh, so I'm gonna make it the softest. And I'm gonna test it out by, uh, I want it to be kind of a bass line. So I'm gonna hold the down arrow and press start. Ooh. All right, I think I like that. And I'm going to press select to go back to the main menu and go back up to my block editor. All right. And as you can see, since I was last working, it's kind of convenient. Since I was last working on sound two, it is still set to sound two. So I'm going to go ahead and just start entering notes. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see. I want to see. C. <laughs> a nice low C. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> cool. And I just want that to repeat. C. Oops. G. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'll finish off this phrase, this little bass line here. <clears throat> uh, with uh, uh. I can't decide how I want it. Oh, I want to. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of the wrong chord. All right, let's do a uh, D. Oh, come on. Oops. Oops, sorry. I just put a D. <laughs> Oh, I'm missing a B. That's what I'm missing.
All right, so if I press the, what did I say? If you press start, it'll play what you entered. If you press the down arrow, it'll scroll through it while it's playing. Uh, if you hold the left or right key, left or right arrow and press start, it'll only play the note you entered. <laughs> mm -hmm. hmm? This sounds fine. I'll mess with it later. And then it's a G, D, B, D. Okay. <laughs> Great. All right. So now we have channel one and channel two. So, okay, some more shortcuts. Let's see. If I press... Uh, Left. All right, so I'm gonna jump around. So I've got uh, what is this? Zero to one F. What is that? Thirty-two steps? Something like that. I'm not good at hex. <laughs> but anyway, that's a lot to scroll through. Uh, if you want to jump around, you can hold the uh, left key and press select. That'll get me to the beginning. You can hold the right key and press select, and it'll jump you halfway through beginning and beginning or middle beginning middle yep and that's all you need if you want to get to the end I mean this is the same as the beginning this is the end right here this is the beginning oh I'm sorry I said it wrong this is the end this is the beginning all right and what do I think about the speed let's try making it a little slower too slow Sounds good. All right, let's go back to the sound editor. Let's do some, oh, I don't know. Let's do some percussion. <laughs> 